minority leader. <coughs> Thank you, Mr. Speaker. I want to also echo with my colleagues who have spoken before me. I also thank uh, Honorable Ismail, member for Ashabit Ward, for bringing the attention of the members to this pertinent issue that our community requires at the current time. Mr. Speaker, it's true that we have shortage of teachers in Mandara County, uh, particularly primary schools, because I have experienced that most of our uh, students or our boys and girls who are willing to go to teaching fraternity have joined secondary colleges, teaching secondary college universities for teaching uh, uh, secondary teaching uh, uh, platforms. Mr. Speaker, currently the primary schools is where the situation is there. Mr. Speaker, uh, as you know that we have got a very significant numbers of non-local teachers who are found of threatening to move away from this county. They even exaggerate securities that, insecurities that does not exist in our county. Sometimes they post security threats, which is exaggerations that does not exist in our county, to other forums in the entire country, whereby uh, it is cautioning and put red zones to our county. So, Mr. Speaker, I agree with the Honorable um, uh, representing Gutiche Award that we facilitate, if the need be, our boys and girls who are willing to join those colleges. We have a college, teacher's training college in Mandara County, in Mandara Town, and I believe that college has been dropped because, uh, because of uh, lack of admissions. Mr. Speaker, as far as the cluster subject has been removed, and the grade is sibling. We are town, we are bound to encourage our boys and girls to join those colleges, in particular this college of Mandera County, so that we get a bright feature for our education uh, system. So I encourage my colleagues, as has been said before me, those who have spoken, the, 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 the first speakers, speakers, so that we get a good number of teachers and get enough for our primary schools. Thank you, Mr. Speaker.